Hello, it's Louise with you of Timeless Craft Mama, and it is such a joy today to bring you my round two submission for the Kaiser Craft 2017-2018 design team call. So my layout that I'm going to share with you today is called Love This Moment, and it's using the fabulous Lilac Whisper collection, which will be available in July. The first thing I'd like to do is to show you some of this collection, and it's definitely not um, within my comfort zone, let's say. So it's not that um, I don't like the collection because I think it's beautiful, but for me, I'm particularly a, a bright scrapper. So straight away, this um, box full of delicious products arrived and it was not something I would um, typically create with. So for me, that actually led me to create in a different way than what I normally would. So I chose to do a scrapbook layout as that's my preference. And the first thing I'm going to do is take this white wood sheet of paper and I'm going to use the corrugated card background. Now you've seen that I've torn two strips off of the side, um, one on the right and one on the left. And that's just going to um, help some of that corrugate just peek through. Now because the corrugate didn't really... Um, not that it doesn't coordinate, but I just wanted it to be a little bit less brown. What I've done is taken some white gesso and just painted that on roughly, just to almost give it a little bit of a distressed look. Now, once that white gesso has dried, you could have adhered the white wood paper to the corrugate, but I chose not to because I'm actually going to do some stitching later. So having it um, not adhered, I would never be able to um, use the corrugate with the sewing machine. So I have left it unattached for the time being. Now to create this triangle of colour, I'm using the new Tim Holtz Distress Oxide and I'm just taking my water brush and um, making this sort of rough triangle. It doesn't have to be perfect because we want it to sort of dry and get this lovely matte. So you can see that some areas are really wet and um, I've also added the little droplet splatters there as well. And you'll see when it dries, see the beautiful um, different coloured elements that you get with that oxide. So this um, purple that I've chosen really is going to elevate the soft pastel of this um, collection and just bring it into the brights, which is one of my preferred ways to scrapbook is with the brights. So while my um, splatters are drying, what I'm going to do is to um, prep my frames for the background. So uh, when I started to think about how I was going to create this layout, I knew that I wanted to sort of do something with frames and a cluster and um, I, I had a, an idea in my mind, but it wasn't a, you know, a, a strict idea as such. So I just fiddle around with things um, once I've built all of these frames and attach them um, into the background of the layout. So you'll see that this develops. And um, this particular paper that I've chosen will actually also, um, I'm using both sides. So it's the one sheet of paper that I've cut the frames for, and I'm using both the, the lighter and the more green side just to help lift that a little bit. Now, sticking those down, and you're not actually going to see me stitch on camera, but I am actually going to go ahead and stitch around those frames. But before I do that, I want to show you how I build the cluster. So, um, building the cluster is, for me, not a strict... I don't, I don't do it by um, the same way every time. So what I do is just pick out some of the papers that I think will look nice in a cluster, and I cut them at various different sizes. So normally I would probably do this with a 6x6 paper pad, but in this case, because I've got these beautiful 12x12 papers, I'm going to use them to build um, interest behind that photo. Now I have mounted that photo as well, just to um, help it lift out of the background of the cluster. 
Now, one of the easy ways to keep your clusters together while you're working with them is to add a staple. And sometimes I also like to, in my layers, add things like banners. You'll see later I'm going to add a doily um, and tags are good too. Now, the important thing for me when I'm creating these layers is to add dimension between them. So I won't always um, stick them together straight away. You'll see I'm going to put some card between them um, and then the doily is going to go on between that as well. And that just helps um, to, to bring those layers in the photo, lift it a little bit off the page, especially if you're going to start to add um, some, some larger florals and you end up with quite a large um, or a layout that's lifted up quite high. So moving along now, and I've added some adhesive, um, and you can see the stitching that I've done there. Um, I'm also going to use some tacky glue um, with that adhesive, just because we're sticking it onto the corrugate, so I really want to make sure that it is actually going to adhere and last long term. I don't want it to end up um, falling apart in an album in the coming years. Now, I'm looking at the, the layout that I've established here and I'm thinking, okay, I'm happy with the frames, I'm happy with that little pop of purple triangle in the background, it just needed that something extra. And I think that the Kaiser Mist in the apple, through that beautiful blossom stencil, just helps to enhance that background. So it really blends so well with the purple and the frames and that cluster as well. So I, I'm particularly pleased with how this layout is working along. I'm going to add some background stamping with the Texture Script Stamp, which is probably one of my favourite, most used Kaiser stamps, because I just love that beautiful script. I mean, you can't read what any of the words say, but it really enhances the background of a layout. Now, a little touch of green around the cluster, and you'll also notice that I've folded up the edges of the paper in the cluster. And what I want to show you in this part of the video is how I went ahead and made this um, custom handmade flower. So I actually used the Silhouette Cameo to cut out this cut file, which is the rose. And what I do is I roll it up onto itself and hold it for a couple of seconds. And then when you let it go, it makes this beautiful rose shape. So I've cut it in two different sizes because I wasn't sure what size I actually wanted to use. So I do end up using the slightly smaller version. And that's just because it goes better with the other flowers and embellishments that I'm going to put on this layout. Now when I'm also doing these, I like to use the hot glue gun because it does um, adhere that paper flower a whole lot quicker. You could use tacky glue if you had the time to actually sit there and hold it, but for me the hot glue gun, you can see that I've, I've set that flower and it's going to um, be able to be moved around the layout. So building a cluster of embellishments is um, working towards the final stages of the layout. And this is, um, again, not something that I do with a strict structure in mind. I really just let the layout guide me as to how I will actually complete the page. So I have a little play with some of the collectibles, some of the paper blooms that I've got going on there. The um, bottom right hand cluster, um, the, the little title card that says love you, that was not intended to actually happen in that bottom right hand corner. but. I love the added element that it gives having that um, sort of little uh, area as part of the layout. And basically what, um, what you'll see is me just fiddling around with some of the collectibles. I've got some of the wood veneers. And um, once I'm satisfied with essentially how this is coming together, I will glue and attach most of this off camera. So you don't actually see any of that in the video, but essentially what you're seeing now does become the final stages of the page. Now at this point I'm using a lot of the collectibles and I'm realizing that I've got a whole sheet of stickers that I haven't actually used on this page as yet. So I do go um, ahead later on down the track and just use a single sticker from the sticker sheet to form the title element of this page and that is the um, Love This Moment 
that's going to um, get moved around a little bit. I couldn't quite work out where I wanted to stick it first of all so you'll see that I'm going to pop it in a couple of different places but eventually settle um, just sort of to that right hand side of the photo. So I am happy and satisfied with this particular layout. I've really had so much fun playing along with this collection. I hope you enjoyed that video from me. Thank you so much to Kaisercraft for the opportunity to apply. Thanks for watching.